All right, um, it's kind of late. It's like, oh, it's 10.30. It's not really that late. I'm tired though, but Omar's on the way. Omar's actually gonna be here probably in like 30 minutes to an hour. So, I didn't get much done today. <laughs> I didn't get all my stuff done. So I'm gonna have to close off some rooms, but first things first, I get all these shoes out of here and into that room and that door shut. So, um, yeah, here we go. Hey, crazy. Hi. Hi. What are we doing today? Ah. Huh. What are you doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Omar. It's mine. Oh. Hey, quit with the camera. Hey! Cut it out. Stop. Stop. Sure. Don't you wear shoes? Looking for a toy. Hey! That's not a toy. Not a toy. <laughs> My God, <laughs> you're crazy. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Did I get you worn out today? Our first day of puppy training. We've already been outside like four times. We've already been outside four times. It's hard for me to hold it all the way down there, though. Well, I'll have to get you some stuff off Amazon today. Oh, good boy. That was bad. Oh, good boy, Omar. That was a really good boy. That's a little tired. Okay, so obviously uh, Omar got here. Got here around midnight last night, and then we hung out, all right? We hung out, and we had a little bit of food, and we went on our first walk, and we went to sleep. And then Omar got up at 4 a.m., right? It's to you, it's like six in Florida right now. So we got up at four, and then we went on a walk. <laughs> At four, we went out to the bathroom outside. A good dog. And then um, we went back to sleep for a few hours. So it's actually a little bit later than I thought it'd be. It's 10.30, so when you let me sleep until like 9, 9.30, so that's awesome. Shit. But uh, yeah, so shout out to Omar and the owners. Uh, if you want to find out the contact info for the dog, I will let you know, so it's fine. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Today is going to be, <laughs> to be a lot of puppy training. We're gonna get some rules established in here and I'm gonna get him used to going in and outside and getting some stuff for the porch and some stuff for him to sleep in. And then we're gonna play. We're gonna have a good Omar and Teddy day. Well yeah, Omar's here, super happy that he's here. Like, super happy. Yeah, just looking forward to it. But it's gonna be a lot of work. So let's get to it. You getting into stuff? I'm trying to order you stuff off the internet. Come on. Hey. Hey. Good boy. Good listener for fun. Well, sort of. You're sort of a good listener so far. Oh, look at you. Good boy. That's a good sit. That's a good sit. You're so smart. Let's get you some stuff. Let's get you a dog crate and some other stuff. Huh? Some other stuff? Shopping for Omar. Seca, your bed's on the way. 
Or your crate. You need crates on the way. Yeah. What do you want to do now? Want to play? You want to play? <laughs> not with the camera. <laughs> Dog. The camera is not a toy. Hey. Stop. Boy, you will stop chewing on my shoes. Stop it. Stop it. You crazy. You crazy. You crazy. Hey, leave that alone. Hey. Hey. away from those shoes that is not this here is not for you no that's a good sit though yeah you are a good boy but you stay away from the hey stay away from the boost okay Tennis ball. Ball. He's <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. No. He's coming again. It's mine. That's mine. That's mine. <laughs> My God, how are we gonna film you, you fucking psychopath? Boy, get out of here. Get out of here, go. Come on, let's close the door. Come on. <laughs> Come on, you a little turd. Come on, out of here, this is off limits. Come on, you get to graduate to this room, hey. Boy, give me the fucking shoe then. Come on. Come on then. You want this? Come on. Suck her. Hey, look at it. Yo! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Get out of there. You tired yet? Leave it. <laughs> hey! Come in! Come in! Good boy! You're destroying everything today. Stuff's all over me. If you don't stop, <laughs> I'm fucking beat you. Quit it. The camera is not for you. No camera for you. There you go. That's a good boy. Keep it on, huh? Oh, you're going to be a handful. God. I don't even remember. I don't remember to be ever having this much energy. Whew.
Trying to help me? Hmm? No more, no. You crate? We'll see tonight. <laughs> you gotta get the under control before we let you loose. Man, good boy though. Going in your crate all by yourself. Crate life. It's not a bad life. Gotta keep you out of trouble. So what I'm doing right now is uh, to start crate training him. You just, I, you know, I entice him into this space by giving him all the treats that he really wants here so that he associates the most fire treats with the crate. That's generally how it works. Then, it, then they grow to love it. Because so. dogs like to be in little caves. So we'll make it a little cave for you. Boy, though. You're a wild boy, but you're a good boy. This, we don't know. Why did Jack lie about the situation? Hey, what the we fuck? Don't know. Epic breakthrough has been done. Nap time. Alright. So, we woke up from our nap, me and Omar. I actually ended up taking a nap too, even though I probably shouldn't have. But so today, today's no vlog. I mean, this is a vlog. It's definitely like what's happening, but uh, it's very much getting Omar used to what we expect here today. Having puppies a lot of work, I tell you. I knew it before he got here, and he's been great. He's been really, really great. Like, he's already learned how to sit. Have you learned how to sit? Close. <laughs> Uh, he's already learned how to sit. He's gone outside every single time and waited pretty much for the grass to go to the bathroom. So he's really, really getting it. Um, we're on the 11th floor, so we're gonna have to try. I ordered some stuff for the, what's it called? The porch, balcony, whatever. There's like these little real grass pads that you can get and they deliver like every week. So I'm gonna have one of those so he doesn't have to take that trek just to make it a little easier on him right now until he gets fully potty trained. and then he'll be able to hold it, I'm pretty sure, to go outside. But for right now, let's set you up for success, huh? Yeah. But um, yeah, just training, training, training. Omar, Omar, Omar. That's about it today. It's gonna just get him used to everything. We got the whole weekend to get used to everything, buddy. Me and this little dude, all weekend, gonna be doing all kinds of training. Hopefully we can have you sitting and doing other stuff by month. No. Mm. Mm. You want your new supper soon? So yeah, the next uh, few days are definitely going to be just a lot. This dog has just got his stuff all over this. This is going to be interesting with the camera. But uh, yeah, the next few days are going to be a lot of dog and puppy training. I don't even know. It's really, it's, it's really a lot of work. I really forgot. It's hard to even film some stuff, so we couldn't take him. He's already like a little diva. We go outside and every girl wants to stop and pet Omar. So it takes us quite a while to go from point A to point B, which was the same thing that happened when Doobie was a puppy, which is how he ended up being uh, just addicted to women as he grew older. Like Doobie loved girls more than anything, so. I imagine it's gonna be the same thing for Omar. He's really a great puppy, man. Like he's been, for the first 24 hours, been amazing. So I'm um, really looking forward to seeing him grow up and training him and turn him into a great dog. So, uh, but shout out to my man, Carl, who drove him from Florida. Everyone that was asking, he got driven from Florida. This gentleman, Carl, who is related, I can't remember how they're related to some, in some way to the breeder, drove him out one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he had some other stuff he was delivering, but uh, Omar just sat and sat in the front seat with him, it seems like, and just chilled. He had a nice little road trip, met people on the way, and now he's here. Uh, really, I can't even like express how much I appreciate that man for uh, just, just taking care of Omar like he was his own. So that was awesome. And then as far as where Omar came from, this really nice lady, Wanda, in Florida, and her Instagram is CNW Danes. I'll put it, I'll put it right here, CNW Danes on Instagram. Uh, if you're looking for an English Bulldog puppy and you want one that is perhaps related to Omar, that's where you could get one. But uh, they've been nothing but great to me so far as well and extremely professional and just helpful and easing my mind at getting a new puppy because there's a lot of shit that goes through your mind when you get a new dog. That's for sure. It's a lot of work. It's a baby, so you have to treat it as such. But um, yeah, 
I'm stoked. I'm really looking forward to it. It really makes me miss Doobie. Rest in peace, Doobie. Never, ever going to forget that dog. He's the best, but um, already, like, Doobie's already teaching me lessons with Omar, so um, pretty cool. And yeah, I'm just gonna go and actually see what this fool's up to right now and get out of here. What are you doing? Oh, playing in your bed? Okay, that's a good dog. <laughs>